Hey guys, welcome back to another video on our channel. My name is Valerie and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the new features of the Hotel Booking Plugin version 4.7. You'll learn how to use all of them effectively for managing reservations on your WordPress website. In version 4.7, we made several improvements to better the performance of the direct transfer payment method. We've also considered your feedback and added more options to the admin bookings calendar. In addition, we fixed a few bugs to enhance the plugin's functionality further. And we hope you remember a good rule of thumb is that updating your plugins to the latest version gives you access to the latest features and improves your site's security. But before we begin, uh, let me remind you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know when we have a new video for you. Now, let's jump in. If you offer your guests a direct bank transfer payment method at checkout, we're sure you'll enjoy the changes we've introduced with the new update. Now I'll explain how the method works. Now you have an extra layer of automation to be more precise, a payment time frame in the settings, that will help improve the reservation management process and minimize the risk of delayed money transfers. And your guests will be more informed on how to easily secure their bookings. The first thing I should mention, we've changed the default booking status for the bookings made via the direct bank transfer method. It's now pending payment instead of approved which means further actions are required from your guest and you to confirm a booking. To see new options, navigate to Accommodation, Settings, select Payment Gateways, and click the Direct Bank Transfer option. Under the Instructions field, you can see that we've added the new checkbox that says Enable auto abandonment. You can optionally enable it and set the time frame to apply the auto abandonment of non paid bookings. This is the period in hours a user has to pay for a booking. Suppose a client uh, doesn't make any bank transfers during the time frame you set. In that case, the booking status automatically changes to abandoned and an accommodation becomes available for other guests. It works for both full and deposit payments. Since it's important to let customers know how much time uh, they have to pay for their bookings, uh, how exactly they can pay, we've also added the payment instructions email template and you might want to enable it. Feel free to add any information to this email. For example, you can state an account number or state an email where clients must send the money to confirm the bookings. Add how to pay instructions, tell how much time they're given to pay, and more. Use the email text section to automatically insert the relevant client information into the email. Note the payment instructions tag uses uh, the information from the payment instructions field in the direct bank transfer settings. You can send the payment instructions email no matter if you use the auto abandonment feature or not. Note, uh, if a client pays for a booking during the set time frame, you must change the status of the payment to completed by hand to avoid abandoning the booking automatically. And if you go to the list of bookings in your dashboard, you'll see the expires in status. That helps you to estimate the time before payment expiration. To sum up, at the moment, there are two ways to work with direct transfer methods in the plugin. With 
auto abandonment disabled and once you receive the payment from a guest you manually change the status of the payment to the appropriate one and if you set it to completed uh, the booking status changes to confirmed and with auto abandonment uh, enabled uh, once you receive your payment from a guest, uh, you manually change the status uh, of the payment to the appropriate one. And if you don't receive a payment, a booking is abandoned and a booking slot is released automatically. When payment and booking status changes, both admin and customers receive appropriate email notifications. That's it. Hopefully you find this new enhancement useful and will benefit from applying it on your WordPress website. Now let's uh, look quickly at the admin bookings calendar. And since 4.7, you can determine the default calendar view format. I mean, how many days by default to show in the calendar. Uh, to do so, go to accommodation, settings, scroll down to find a default calendar view and from the drop down select the needed period. That can be a year, month or any custom period and then scroll down to save the changes. We've also added the client name to the color coded bookings in the admin bookings calendar to help you quickly find the needed guest name without opening each booking. Moreover, we've added the year information to the reservation preview in the table of bookings for you. Um, so now you can quickly and easily navigate through the bookings. And we hope these updates uh, to the user interface of the calendar and bookings table will help you more easily and quickly interact with guests and bookings. That's all for today. It was great having you here. Stay tuned for more updates and improvements to hotel booking in the future. And if you already had a chance to test out and implement new features, let us know what you think about them and share your feedback with us by writing your comments in the comment section of this video. One more important thing, follow us on social media. We're constantly sharing product news and promotions on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you for watching this video till the end, and I'll be seeing you in the next tutorial.